All right, so it is Friday. I I just went and uh, picked up my intercooler. As you can see back there, it's literally the my yeah. This thing is massive, but yeah, I just whoop. Let me show my car. Um, yeah, I just went here. Well, I just came by AM Tuning. You know, here in Mississauga, um, the install will be, well, at least the plan is tomorrow, so we shall see. Yeah, if you guys need anything, like most of the German cars, BMW, Mercedes, even maybe, uh, Audis, Volkswagens, BMWs, they carry parts, they keep stuff in stock. There's their contact info. Come by, definitely give them a visit. They carry Maxton designs, wheels, super speeds. Um, I just saw Enki RPF ones over there um, on display and stuff. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna do the install. Um, I. I think I'm gonna do the charge pipes later on. Um, I think it's possible to do it without taking off the bumper again. So, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm currently at the shop now. Um, I have the car on the hoist. Um, yeah, I got the electronic over there. This is by no means a step-by-step -step how to, uh, how to put it on. I'm following, um, there's a couple videos. Charles, the humble mechanic, he makes a good video. Um, what's his face? Um, it's pronounced Vago. He makes a good video as well. It's two different ways to do it. Um, watch both and see which one works for you. Yeah, so the new Unitronic intercooler is there. I'm gonna take all of this apart. Uh, Unitronic also has uh, the install guide on their website. I have most of the stuff that I will need here. You'll need a T25 bit, T30 bit. I love these things. It's, uh, it's for my expensive set, blue point. Um, yeah, stuff to take off the clips, screwdriver, you can do this with hand tools, um, and I recommend you have a magnetic bolt or something for, you know, just to be organized. So I'm gonna, first thing first, I'm gonna, before I go all the way up, um, I take everything off, I'm gonna take off the intake. Um, yeah, I have the integrated engineering intake. I'm gonna take that off first, and then we'll go up and proceed to take off the bumper. Uh, just cutting in here um yeah don't forget the three screws that's holding the bumper onto the rad support um yeah i forgot that that's why i'm doing that now so here i'm just taking off the fender liners for both sides you got to do that for both sides just got to keep in track of all the screws use a cup or you know something um now i'm taking off the washer fluid line for the bumper as this is equipped with the 
headlight washer. Um, I don't have it currently working, but we have it regardless. It will, oh, it might make a mess. You can either just drain your whole washer fluid bottle or just plug up the, the motor there. Okay, washer fluid done. Now I'm taking off the bumper. Just be careful. I have one connector onto the bumper for the radar and the headlight washers. got ahead of myself and I completely forgot to film the rest of this process. I ended up taking off the both headlights and the crash beam. The radiator is just attached to the intercooler by two clips on the top and then it just lifts straight up. Okay, so I got the intercooler out. It's it's not that bad of an install or removal. Um, just really, really got to be careful with these these pieces. So this is the thing that clips onto the carrier. Sorry. Um, yeah, I broke this one tab, but I think it will be okay. Maybe I'll drill a hole, put a bolt or a pin in there, or tie strap or something because but yeah just got to be careful especially if you have somewhat of an older ver uh older car like this is already five years old this is a 17 so you know things will be brittle especially if you live in a four season um state or province um you know i live in ontario so winter summer so everything things will turn uh brittle this thing is pretty much Lego. Everything is freaking plastic. So yeah, it's uh, it's not bad. Okay, that's a lot heavier. Hi, right, Kevin. What do you think? It is thicker, right? It's a lot thicker. It is bigger. The package is nice, though. Packaging is nice. Oh, look at that, I got stickers too. Fuck. That's what, about two fingers width. Yeah, so it's about, yeah, uh, I'd say about, not, not, not exactly two, twice the size, but almost twice the size, so. Okay, so I cleaned out the, the rad. I blew out the... So here I mentioned to clean your rad and your AC condenser. Don't forget to clean the auxiliary cooler and the DSG cooler on the side of the crash beams. Look at this. Look at this. You hear that? You hear that? You hear that? Nice. Okay, hold on. I just want to see something real quick. High quality, man. Ah. Okay, so putting it back in the stack was a bit harder because it's like twice the size of this freaking thing. Um, and the Unitronic um, kit came with these set screws. I don't know if it'll focus. Uh, probably not, but DC, these set screws to hold the condenser in. I'm probably gonna put a little bit of blue Loctite on it. I just don't want it to back up, so yeah. All right, so I'm gonna put everything back together and yeah. 
I'll get back to you guys. So we are officially done with the install. Um, yeah, it just took a little while because I've never done one. So, you know, all my buddies that needs help with this, I can help them out much faster now. And I just found out that I was rubbing my intake pipe was rubbing on this coolant line um, yeah, this coolant line right here right there is rubbing it's not through but i'm glad i caught that so you know just gotta make sure everything is in and uh i'll start her up all right guys so that is the end of the video um it's not I know it's not really a step-by-step, -step, um, you know, video. There's a lot of videos out there, but it looks like nobody has ever gone for the Unitronic um, intercooler. Uh, everybody goes uh, either IE or DO88, especially if you have a big turbo, because everybody uh, gets it from EQT. But, you know, up here in Canada, it's... Yeah, it's amazing that we have Unitronic because I don't got to pay for, like, taxes and tariffs and shipping and all of that stuff. And I can go to a parts store. Shout out AM Tuning. I can go to a parts store and, you know, they'll have this stuff in stock. And, yeah, um, the only reason I'm putting this on now is because they were having a Black Friday sale, which is great. And I'm sure most of the, you know, big brands do is having a sale right now um just a couple of things is uh just be really careful with the hood latch cable it is you know it looked like it was gonna break and things are again brittle 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 this is a 2017 car so it's it's almost six years old uh so you know things will be brittle like i said earlier like you know, a lot of a lot of plastic and clips um the shroud that i have uh it was in pieces for some reason uh i was taking things apart and it looked like somebody has been in there um i think somebody tried to fix one of the one of the pegs for the intercooler um, so I don't know if it was, if the intercooler was having a leak or, you know, things like that, but I did see a little bit of epoxy, uh, residue, uh, when I took it off. So, you know, good thing, like, yeah, you're not supposed to, you know, you don't want to break the old intercooler cause then you could probably sell it and, you know, all that other stuff, but not too big of a deal. Um... The fitment of the intercooler is tight, tight. So you just really have, cause it's so much thicker. So then everything up here in the front, like of the stack, like with the rad, the fan and everything. Your um, good thing is that the two screws, well, four screws on, so two on each side, they have a, like the, you know, there's an adjustment, like you can, push it back in and push it back out. So I I had set it, I tightened it down with like uh, as far forward as I can. And uh, you know, just double check all the hoses and all the wiring, make sure that nothing is touching. Oh, nothing is touching like in, in the middle, nothing will rub, um, you know, plug in all your sensors. Be really careful with the clips for the airbag or like crash sensors it's you can't miss it it's all the airbag stuff is always yellow connectors or yellow sensors there's one on each side of the uh, the rad over here it's close to the headlights you'll see it um, yeah it's not too bad of an install it took me a little bit because I was messing around I was taking lots of breaks and I was having camera problems uh, yeah, that's why I didn't get to uh, get a lot of footage. However, 
she is back on. Um, the bumper fits much better than it did uh, before. Um, yeah, I got, you know, they give you Unitronic stickers. I got them all my, you know, all my collection over there. Um, yeah, I showed you guys the intake. It was rubbing. I didn't even know that that was rubbing. So I just, you know, just literally rotated the pipe and now it's straight. Looks like nothing will rub, but I'll definitely keep an eye on that. But uh, yeah, guys, other than that, that shall be it. Um, you know, I probably won't be getting any new parts anytime soon because it is winter. Um, yeah, um, maybe in the next three, four months, we'll get into more of the suspension uh, upgrades. I did install um, an H&R H &R Sport Springs. So it's about one inch lower. It runs a lot better, but you know, it's, I, yes, I know it's not ideal because winter is coming. Um, but you know, it is what it is because I don't really want to mess around with this and just, you know, I just wanted to get it over with. So yeah, there's that. Uh, All right, I shall see you guys on the next one.